Hello and welcome to another helpful My Theme Shop video tutorial. In this video, I will be sharing with you some simple and easy solutions to help you learn how to fix an internal server error that you might be experiencing within your WordPress website. So let's get started. Although it's easy to get stressed out and even frustrated when you see an error message on your website, the biggest goal here is to reverse engineer the error and prevent it from occurring again. One of the main problems with internal server errors, or Error 500, is not knowing what's causing the error. Basically, you are trying to make an educated guess on the origin of the error. So let's take a look at some of the most common reasons and easy fixes. As a warning, it's recommended that you create a backup of your website to prevent any data loss due to any further errors or misconfigurations. The easiest way to create a backup of your website is to log into your web host and access your cPanel dashboard. Once there, look for an option titled Backup. Although every web host may have a different type of dashboard configuration, usually each web host provider has some sort of button or link to allow you to create a manual backup of your website. If you do not see this option or you're experiencing issues, simply contact your web hosting provider to ask about backup options. As an alternative, if you have FTP access to your website, you can simply log in and download your website files directly to your computer. And if you prefer an easier method for future backups, you can install the free MyWP Backup WordPress plugin from My Theme Shop. This amazing plugin will help you create backups of your website easily and without hassles. Okay, so once you're ready to begin troubleshooting your WordPress website, let me give you a quick time-saving suggestion. Think back just a little bit. Can you recall anything you may have installed or updated like a WordPress theme or plugin that before you installed or updated your website, your website worked correctly? Yet afterwards, the error appeared? Don't worry if nothing comes to mind. But if you know it's a plugin or a theme that could have caused the issue, this will help you resolve the internal server error quickly. So let's start looking at solutions. In order to troubleshoot some of the files within your WordPress website, it would be helpful to have FTP access to your website. FileZilla is a free FTP solution to help you upload and download files on your website server. It's easy to use and great for managing your website files. You may also check with your web hosting provider to inquire about any FTP solutions that might be included with your web hosting service. And if anything, you can also inquire about any FTP login information or set this up manually yourself. So now we need to choose the most likely source for the internal server errors. These sources can include WordPress themes, WordPress plugins, PHP memory limits, a corrupted HT access file, and web hosting side conflicts or issues on the web hosting side. Without the error giving us a specific origin, we are basically using a trial and error approach to find a solution. So let's take a look at each possibility and an easy solution. Again, if you have a feeling that you know the source, you may simply just want to try that solution first. A WordPress theme can make a website look professional, yet sometimes a particular theme does not play nice with other themes or plugins. So we need to disable every theme one by one, excluding the default theme. To do this, simply log into your server using your FTP access and click on the file name public underscore HTML. Then click on the WP hyphen content folder. Then simply click the folder labeled themes. Once you're inside the themes folder, you can start renaming the themes that might be causing your issue. Simply right click on your desired theme and click rename. Simply adding a word to the end of the theme name like deactivated will do the job. Then you can go theme by theme and simply try to refresh your website to see if the solution worked. If you find that it works, then you can stop there. Please note though, that you do not want to rename or alter the default WordPress theme file in any way. If a theme is causing the error, you need to be able to have a theme to default to and operate properly. Typically, the default theme is named after the current year. So just leave that one alone and everything else should be okay. The next possibility is a WordPress plugin that does not work properly with a theme, another plugin, or WordPress configuration. Just like our solution for the themes, we are going to rename our plugin files. Follow the same simple steps as you did to access the themes folder, yet this time you can simply rename the entire plugins folder. Add a simple word to the file name and refresh your website. If your website starts working, you know that it was a plugin causing the issue. Then simply go in and start activating one plugin at a time and checking to see which plugin is causing the issue. Next, we are going to try to increase our PHP memory limits to resolve the error. There may be times when you exceed the PHP memory limit, which triggers the internal server error message. Now let's assume you do not currently have a PHP.ini file in your server. To create one, 
simply create a blank text file and name it php.ini. Then add to the file the following, memory underscore limit equals 64 m semicolon. Then save the file and upload it to your WordPress root folder via FTP. Refresh your website and see if the solution worked. If that did not work, you can increase the memory. This also works if you already have a php.ini file on your server. Simply open the file to edit, double the number, and then refresh. Simply open the file to edit and double the number. So for an example, if you have the number 64, change it to 128, save it, and try again. If that still doesn't work, try one last time with 256, save it, and refresh and try again. Once you upload the file, refresh your website to see if the solution worked. The next solution deals with a corrupted .htaccess file. This file is found in the root WordPress installation directory alongside your other important WordPress files. Simply right-click the file and rename it something like htaccess underscore old. Then refresh your website and if it worked, go to your settings options in your WordPress dashboard and click permalinks. You don't need to edit anything, just click save and a new htaccess file will be generated. Lastly, if none of these solutions have worked, you may just have to simply contact your web hosting provider to explain to them the error, what you have tried, and what options are available. They may tell you it's something they are working on as it might be a server-side issue. Or maybe you've simply outgrown your web hosting package because your website is so popular and you're exceeding the allotted specifications that they give you. I hope these simple solutions have been a benefit to you and I hope that one of these solved your internal server error issue. And don't forget to check out the amazing MyWP Backup plugin from My Theme Shop that I mentioned earlier in this video. Check out these other helpful videos from our channel. All of these videos are in-depth and helpful to not only someone who has just started with WordPress, but even to advanced users. Also, please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button if you have not done so already. Thanks again for watching, and if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to ask them by clicking on the support link provided.